Hi guys, welcome back and today's training is going to cover a couple of key concepts which can be kind of tricky to get your head around initially. Um, the first of these is traffic and competition and the second is broad phrase and exact match. Now remember the goal of the challenge is to get you earning your first dollar online but to do this you firstly have to get your site appearing in Google when people type something in which relates to your niche and secondly, there has to be enough people doing this a day to make it worth the effort and to ensure that you generate enough of an income going forward. Now, in later videos, we're going to be showing you how to evaluate the ideas you've been coming up with over the last couple of days. And more importantly, how to look at the individual keywords that you type into Google to see how much traffic they get, i.e. how many people type them in a day. Um, we'll also um, be looking at how competitive these keywords are so seeing how easy it would be to get your site listed in the top 10 search results over time but for now I just really want to cover the key concepts of broad phrase and exact match every time you enter a search term into Google Google records this search to see how many people are searching for the same phrase Google then averages this information out over time and provides us with these averages so we can use them in our keyword research now, this allows us to see how popular phrases are and make some decisions on whether it is worth looking at this market. If hardly anybody searches for the phrase, then it is unlikely that there will be enough traffic to sustain a business. If the traffic numbers look good, then we can make an educated guess on how many visitors we might receive to our website if it appears in the top 10 of Google. For any particular phrase, Google gives us three sets of numbers. These are the exact match traffic estimate, the phrase match traffic estimate, and the broad match traffic estimate. Now, this may sound a little confusing, but bear with me and I'll explain what each of these are and how it relates to traffic. What I'm gonna do is use a real example as I go through these. So let's start with exact match. If we take the keyword trout fishing, the exact match traffic is the number of people who take the phrase trout fishing on its own with nothing else, enter it into Google and visit the number one site. Phrase match, on the other hand, is slightly different. It is the term trout fishing in that word order, but can be surrounded by other words. For example, trout fishing, trout fishing tips, trout fishing rods, rods for trout fishing, places for trout fishing. See, trout fishing is still in the same word order, trout and fishing, but has other words surrounding it. Now, broad match traffic is how many people are searching for the word trout and fishing but not necessarily in that order and with other words so for example trout fishing trout fishing tips fly fishing for trout fishing for trout from a boat as you can see the words trout and fishing do not have to be in the right order but rather just appear in the search term so why do we care about this well when we first start off building a website or setting up a blog Google knows nothing about your site, but soon afterwards it'll pay it a visit and give it a ranking in the search results based on the quality of your content, the links you have to your site, and hundreds of other individual factors. Where it appears in the search results will depend on what people type into Google when they are searching for something, and how relevant Google thinks your site is to that individual search term. Every time Google pays your site a visit, it will reevaluate your site and try to determine which search terms your site should appear for and, more importantly, whereabouts it should appear. So, if your page isn't very relevant to a term, then it will appear lower down in the search results. However, if it is relevant and Google also sees that other people and sites think it's relevant, then you will appear higher up. Now, what we have observed is that over time, your content will first start to appear in Google for the exact match term first. Then, as you add more and more pages and get more links to your site, it will start to appear for more phrase match terms. And finally, over the long term, Google will start showing pages from your site for broad match terms. This is your ultimate goal. And by doing the research into the three types of traffic, you can see how it may grow over time. So you can think of the three types of traffic like this. Exact match is your short term potential. Phrase match is your medium term potential and broad match is your long term potential. Now, when we begin our research using Market Samurai, you will notice that we use broad match traffic data to evaluate what a market is like. And this is because it is the most relevant metric to use when deciding which keywords to go after as part of a long term plan. So, 
That was part one of our broad, phrase and exact match related to traffic and what we're going to look at next is competition. So what is competition? Well, let me give you an example. If you head on over to Google and enter the term trout fishing, Google will return a bunch of results and tell you that there are millions of pages in its index which are related to that term. But, and this is a very important point, not all of these pages are directly competing for the keyword trout fishing. Rather, it is an estimate of the number of web pages that broadly match our search term. Now, if we want to see a better estimate of the number of pages that actually mention the term trout fishing, all you need to do is enter the search term in quote marks. Now you can see the difference, and although there is still a huge number of competing pages, it is a lot less than the broad match search. So let me run over that again. If I want to see my broad match competition, then I simply enter the keywords in Google as normal. But if I want to see my phrase match competition, then I need to enter the term in quote marks. So why is it important to understand the difference between phrase and broad match competition? Well, we have found over the last few years of running the challenge that if you focus on phrase match competition at the outset and you work to outrank the competing sites based on this data, then you'll often rank well for broad match competition over time. So to clarify, when looking at competition, we look at phrase match competition. And going back to the first part of the video, when we are looking at traffic, we use broad match traffic. Now, I know this may sound a little confusing, and please don't stress out over this, because over the next couple of days, we'll be showing you with the aid of Market Samurai some great examples, identifying some of the essential criteria, and helping you find a niche.